Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. In today's video, I'm testing out the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Now, I've had this for a little while. Um, Natasha Denona for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, she did do a big sale and I did pick up three of her palettes. So, um, you will see some more Natasha Denona tutorials coming up. But this one I already had and I've just haven't filmed it yet. Um, but look at this color story. So freaking good. I go ahead and insert you guys some swatches. So a completely gorgeous, like everyday type of a color story for me. I absolutely love these colors. They're some of the favorite ones that I pull for. So, if you guys want to see this look, then just keep watching. So, as you guys can tell, we are starting off with the eyes per usual. Today, I'm going to be using for the first time the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Now, I have had this for a little while, I just haven't used it yet. Gorgeous palette. This is like right up my alley. All of these colors are ones that I absolutely love. Cannot wait to dive in here. I have my lids prepped with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and we are going to go ahead and go right in. I think that I'm going to go into this Nude Mauve first, this shade right here. Alright, so I forgot my little blender brush, and I'm going to go right in here. As you can tell, Natasha Denona has got like very little fallout. I absolutely love her formula. It's one of my top favorite formulas of eyeshadow, period. Well, she is a little pricey. She's a little pricey. But I just, I love her palette concepts. She's got such beautiful color stories. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I am still sick. I swear. Like, I have just been staying sick with like a sinus infection and it's really starting to bug me but um yeah I love her color stories she's got such like smoothing shimmers they just look gorgeous on um you know not chunky at all literally just glides over your eye stays all day but the main thing that I love is like the color stories that she puts together I think they are just you know all right now I think I'm gonna get a smaller little crease brush sorry that glare is awful I'm gonna go into this shade here which is called Andy and I'm going to put that right into the crease as well That shade is really pretty. It's like a nice like pinky lilac color. That's very pretty. It's not really doing much on top of that color that I put on, but you can see it right here on the lid. That is a gorgeous shade. Just all over the lid, that would be really pretty. Next up. I think I'm going to kind of keep it a little dark today. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Rebellion. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. And it looks like I've got like little glitter flecks on my eye. I did not wear glitter yesterday, so I have no clue what that's from. So there is that color. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like some spots are darker than others. And I did build this up, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But ah, 
I really, when I saw this palette, I wanted to go into this shade right here, which is Psychedelic. I think it looks so fun. So I'm going to put this all over my lid as well. And this is that shade here. So we will see how this looks. And I'm just pressing it. And I'm not going to bring it all the way over. I'm going to leave that part blank. And then... Now I'm going to take this little crease brush and I'm going to go back into this Andy shade here. And this is just like a very small, like fluffy blender brush. And I'm going to go right along the edges with this. And just kind of blend that out. Okay, and then with this big fluffy brush, nothing additional on there. I'm just going to kind of blend over this little line right here. And that is it for the upper lid. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, do my other eye, do the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be back for the lower lash line. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got the rest of my makeup on. I'm going to run you through what I have on the rest of my face really quick. I've got on the Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Hydro Foundation in the shade 1.0, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 12N. I set that all down with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. I did mix a little bit of the Urban Decay and Prince Liquid Illuminator in with my foundation. And that is also the highlight that I have on my face. I love this. I have not put it down ever since I tried it in that um, testing the Prince Urban Decay makeup. For bronzer, I've got on this one from MAC. And then blush, I've got on MAC Desert Rose, a classic. Anytime I'm doing like a mauve tone look, this is usually the one that I pull for. And then for my brows, I just have on my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And I think that catches us up. I'm going to go ahead and start on the lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with that first shade we used right here, Rebellion. And I'm going to put that on the lower lashes. I just have a little angled brush. And I'm going to put that pretty close to the lash line and I am kind of blending this out just a smudge okay and then I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into that shade Andy I love this shade so much and this is what I'm going to put all under here to blend that out and you see how it just adds like a little bit of lilac and is softening that up. That's exactly what I want. And then I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to go into this matte shade here and use that as my highlighter. And I'm going to use that under the brow as well. So for under the brow, I'm going to take this little smudger type of brush. And just going to kind of brush that right here. Probably should have used a little hand mirror. Okay. And then I'm also going to pop that right on the inner corner. Now it is like a whitish color, but it also has some pink in there. So I think it goes really, really nice with this palette. And of course, I'm going to connect that here. All right, I'm going to do the other eye, put on my mascara, and then we'll be back for the final look. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I put on my Ilia um, Mascara MAC Lipstick in Laissez Faire 
love this formula. The Love Me formula in general is so freaking good. And then I set everything down with this little setting spray. I've been loving this spray. <clears throat> this is the I Heart Revolution Long Stay Fixing Spray. And this is in the little e.l.f. Uh, collaboration that they did. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the look. I honestly, I was expecting to love this. I really, really get along well with Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Like I said, this color story is completely up my alley. Um, for $65, this is one of her lower end on the price range palettes, other than her little minis. Um, other than the $65 palettes, you know, she's got like her $129, her like $200 palettes. So I do like that you're getting like the same number of shades at a decent price. You know what I mean? $65, it is a little bit high, but for her quality, um, I'm 100% okay paying that. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more looks, let me know. I cannot wait to dive into some of these taupey shades or like this like dusky rose type of a shade. I freaking love this color story so much. This may be my favorite Natasha Denona color story that she has put together. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.